you're back with the very first edition of the Maruti Suzuki Devil Circuit College Frenzy, where the hunt is well and truly on to find India's fittest college. Up next, we have TMG College from Kerala versus Gotham with University. It's Sharafali against Vishal Jeet, and they'll both be looking to get off to a winning start. My name is Vishwini Singh Yadav. I'm studying mechanical engineering in Gautam University. I'm playing cricket for 3-4 years. I'm playing 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 for 3-4 years. I want to become an Indian Army commander in the future. I want to see the light of the devil's circuit. 3, 2, 1. So here we go, it's the second match in Group A. Tunchan Memorial College against Guttambud University. Oh, no, really, a life lost on the vertical climb. You don't see that too often, Sananda. Well, I'll tell you something. Oh, on the side shuffle. There on the side shuffle. Not lost the life though, crucially. Mm -hmm. You only use the life if you fall off on the side shuffle. We've already seen some interesting lives lost. We had a disqualification at the angle run. And this is another obstacle where we've seen plenty of time made up in the course of a heat. There's nothing much between these two. Yes. And they're taking their time here. They're being very cautious. They're treating the hanging doors with respect. The push your limits a ring seems to be the hardest and, and rightly so because it's all about actually pushing your limits. Yeah, Nix, this is a, not as impressive as some we've seen, but it's nonetheless being effective. He's got a transfer. Well, he's got that. the lead. It's a factor for sure, Patrick. TNG is if they can make up this ground on the push your limits, but they're going to have an insurmountable gap to make up going with just two obstacles remaining onto the angle run. Come on, come on, take your time, take your time. He's actually a tug of war athlete. Here his opponent is languishing on push your limits, having already lost one life. And at the second time of asking, he there pulls himself we are, up. There we are. And that oh. is going to be a comfortable win. Congratulations. How was it? How was it? It is pretty tough. We didn't even worry about it. But focus on goal. All the best to you and may your college win. With the first heat in the bag for Gotham Bud University, it was up to Unnes from TMG to keep them in the running. Rajat seemed to struggle from the outset with the vertical climb. His two attempts proved unsuccessful, meaning he had to bow out. Unnes seemed to take his attempt all the way to the summit, but his attempt at the angle run was off by a matter of inches. But in the end, he went further than his opponent and won the heat. It all came down to the final race as both contestants looked to deliver a winning performance. Pradeep etched a slight lead as they both pushed their way through the first few obstacles. But both their challenges came to a halt as Abu Bakr and Pradeep failed both their attempts at push your limits. A promising race ended with an anti-climax. The points go to Gotham Bond as they cleared more obstacles. That takes them to 10 points, equal with Dial Singh, but Dial Singh retained an advantage at the top due to obstacles completed and their combined times. Next up, another chance to see that incredibly talented trio at the Dial Singh College. They're taking on TMG with TMG still looking to get their first points on the board. Onias from TNG has to turn a grand performance to stand any chance of rampaging Ashish from the Alsin College. I am Onias Kekamut. I am studying TMG College Sirur. I am coming from Malappuram. Basically, I am an athlete specializing in pole vault. My inspiration is Isim Baeva. I am a pole vault class. 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 Jangan India international pole vault team ini langgam awan yang saya tarik perlu berdiri. Entah pole vault itu apa berbodi strength yang naik turun turun ni. Ini saya ni college di Fransil kani kunaeri. So here we go again. It's the first heat in the second round of group matches in Group A. One more, one more, come on.
Ashish Chowdhury has got a reputation of being a quick runner. He broke three minutes in his first attempt. Unas K. Kambrath, however, didn't get past the angle run. So TMJ College, or TMG College, I should say, needs something from somewhere badly. Well, the Althing seems to be performing pretty well. They have got an impressive top end of their squad with Ashish Chowdhury at the moment on course to be unbeaten so far. Some rocket boosters from somewhere because Ashish Chowdhury is already at push your limits and looks in no means to give up. And look how quickly he goes through. He slid through the first four yeah. runs of that like there was no tomorrow. Nobody has completed that part of the course quicker so far. Again, like his teammate Himanshu Rana, he's got a dedicated That's technique, a technique yeah. to beat the single parallel bars. Very effective. I think this man is going to get onto the summit for the second time round. He certainly is, and he might be on course if he gets it first up at beating very his original nice, time of 2.58. Nice. Look Tie at the support. Tie your laces. Yeah. Tie your laces now. No, it's a good, good time to do that. It's a good spot, that Sananda. He has got a loose shoelace. I hope that doesn't trip him up as he takes on the summit. Look oh, at that. No. Effortless slip. Ashish Chowdhury has got to the top of the summit. I'm standing with the Everest climber, the winner of the race, Ashish from Bayal Singh College. So how are you feeling? Feeling fabulous. Yeah, you did it so effortlessly. Do you have any message to give to the other racers? Just strong with Kailo Oh, just be strong. That is so sweet. Thank you. After Ashish's great performance, Himanshu looked to capitalize on Dayal Singh's amazing start. From the outset, it was pure domination from Dayal Singh as Himanshu seized the lead and kept it. It was an amazing display of pure athleticism as he left his opponent Sharafali in the dust. Giving no quarter to his opponent, he scaled the wall and even had time to taunt before claiming victory. Himanshu Rana has conquered the summit. What an athlete! Abu Bakr remained TMG's last hope in the face of an unstoppable force, Dayal Singh College. It was all one-way traffic at the start as Amit from Dayal Singh took the lead early on. But Amit's reckless pace came to haunt him as he stumbled twice at the angle run. The slow and steady Abu Bakr caught up and with a final push scaled the summit. And Abu Bakr with a heat win. In the books with TMG Though he may have won the race, his team didn't win the match. With a heat win, but not enough secure them their first win. No surprises there, ladies and gentlemen. They are saying with another consistent performance and another 10 points on the board. Dial Singh, they are red hot. They are saying with two clean victories as stand dominant. LPU have a precarious perch in the second place with Gotham Booth ready to pounce if they win their final match. Up next is the final match of the first half of qualifying group A. Dial Singh College against Gotham Booth. Both looking to leave it all out there on the track in their search for those precious 10 points. It's Pradeep Kumar against Amit Tawani. A victory for either would put their college in pole position. My name is Amit Tiwari, I am in Dayal Singh College. My career started in 2010. I was in my friend circle and I was very good. Then I also got a motivation to get a good job. I had a lot of injuries in this trip. I had a lot of injuries in this trip. I had a lot of medals and I had a lot of medals. My family has a lot of support and I want to represent India in the Olympics. Dayal Singh's third contender, Amit Tiwari has brought his A game on this time and he's able to get as far as the angle run. He's taken the respectable Pradi Kumar on. Oh, he's got it ready. Well, Amit Tawari, I don't know whether he's in awe of what Ashish Chowdhury and Himanshu Rana are doing, but he's gone already. And it's this vertical climb that's going to do for him again. He's quickly up for his second attempt and this time making more progress. And I just, I'd like to see him get deep into the course. He's managed to survive that mini scare, and now Amit Tiwari, despite having to do the obstacle twice, has raced into a lead. Are we going to see what the man is made of now? He's straight on to the side shuffle, and again we've got to change the lead. We've got to change the lead once more. So yes, we do. Wow, I'll be able to make up time here. One. 
But of course, they can decide who goes first, second or third. But once they've announced that they've got to stick with it, they can't change it midway through. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I still think they might be on the right track here. Well, who are we to say they're not? They're about to be 3-0, and oh, even if Anit Tuari doesn't turn this around in a... <laughs> Wow. There is something about the Helsing boys flowing through the the bar bars there. Well, of course, that's great team work. They've all shared their experiences. They're all on the same page. And, of course, to make it even better for Amit Tuari, it looks like he is going to step up because Pradeep Kumar no. has failed there. But wait for it, Patrick, because this is where he loses the plot. But will he lose the plot this time round? And he does one more time. Pradeep Kumar can find some energy levels from somewhere which he can't. Right now I'm standing with Amit from Dayal Singh. So, tell me, the last time we saw the same obstacle you were doing, what are you doing now? I didn't do it for practice, I did it for a few days. I don't know what to do with my friends. Okay, so next time will you do it? Yes, I'll do it today. Okay? Okay. Let's go, all the best. Himanshu has been leading the charge in Dayal Singh's performances and look to continue the winning streak. Vishavji got a second wind as he caught up with his opponent. But Himanshu pulled through yet again, slipping and sliding his way across pusher limits. He quickly and efficiently wrapped up the last two obstacles in the match for Dayal Singh. Another match easily won. Can anybody stop them? Rajat of Gotham Bud University needed to pull a genie out of a bag to stop Ashish pulling off another clean sweep. Can you find it with Ashish Chowdhury? Dayal Singh's domination continued as Ashish pulled ahead, leaving his opponent trailing dust. Rajat wasn't even in the reckoning as he was completely outclassed. Will he be able to hit up? Ashish scaled the summit easily and scored another clean sweep for Dayal Singh. So another win, another 10 points, and Dial Singh College on a relentless march to be the team to beat. They top Group A with 30 points. They've almost got one foot in the quarterfinals already. But this isn't the end for anybody. A resurge in performance on day two from the likes of Gotham Bod or TMG could do much to change the equation. Coming up after the break, we have teams from Group B all ready to crank up the heat at the college frenzy.